All right, airship dungeon queue. Woohoo! How's it going, fellas? I'm doing okay. All right. I hope y'all don't mind, but I am going to be recording this for the newer players who are looking for resources on how to do different dungeons. No problem. All right. So essentially on airship, what happens is you're on this airship and you just kind of sit here and you wait. Enemies will pop up through portals and uh, when they pop up, you kill them. I'm going to be playing Rune Mage for uh, the trash mobs. And then when it comes to the bosses, oh, excuse me, I'm going to be playing Scoundrel. Two reasons. One, somebody asked me to make a video showing Scoundrel more. And uh, I don't want to pull aggro from the tank. I'm sure the tank's pretty good, but I have a bad habit in dungeon queues um, with fully maxed out gear of just pulling a little too much. So... In the meantime, let's burn this trash. Also working with a new uh, foam base plate, which kind of throws off the angle um, of my headset, so I'm having to essentially relearn how to cast, which is fantastic. I made shards earlier today, just wonderful to run. That should be more than enough. Yeah. What's with the XP bomb? Uh, because they just lowered the price of uh, Orbis permanently to $20. This is kind of their way of celebrating with the player base saying, woohoo, yay, price drop. Here's some XP bonus because we love you guys. Yeah, because we got robbed. <laughs> nah, we didn't get robbed. Man, I would pay the full price again. Yeah, I think it's a fun game. What's the purple, the pink line going around the XP bomb? When it, when it closes, we get something? Or? Uh, that's the timer of how much time is left for the XP bonus. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. If I get some more fireballs, that'd be great. Uh, excuse me. All right, so here comes the boss. You can know it's a boss because it spawns right in the middle of the ship. Nah, I did not need that card. All right, those orbs that drop from the sky on this boss, you want to catch them on the head. Otherwise, they explode and they make a pool like the ones over there. Uh, it deals a significant amount of damage, and it, you know, creates a pool, which is no bueno. Okay, so I'm trying to keep those rank fives um, on him. Yeah, Bart. All right, so there's the orbs again. You want to catch them on your head. Boop. There we go. Scoundrel, you want to make sure you're far enough back to hit those rank fives. And pew. There we go. Boss one. So yeah, um, fairly simple as a tank. You just make sure you're not standing in the pools. Unless you got a healer, they'll heal you through it. DPS and healers, you just stay out of the pools. Make sure you watch for the sky. Uh, what shard is this? Crypt. I don't want a crypt. <clears throat> I 
the second boss, I'll go ahead and start explaining the mechanics uh, since we have a little bit of time. Uh, he's got a, a couple things he does. First off, he's got a line attack. It'll go either the right side of the ship, left side of the ship, or down the middle of the ship. Um, it's not going to deal damage initially, so you might think you're safe. Uh, but what it does is it applies a bleed stack to you. Uh, so kind of a, a damage over time. So what you want to do is you want to jump either, so if it's coming on the right side, you know, either jump to the left side of the ship, or just as it approaches you, get ready and jump across it. Uh, let's see, other things he does, uh, he's got one called Impending Doom. Um, basically, it's going to apply a debuff to you, and after a set amount of time, I want to say like 10 or 15 seconds, um, it'll just straight up kill you. And the way to avoid that instant death is there are green circles that will spawn on the ship. There's going to be one on each side of the ship. Uh, so one over by pretty much right here, and then one on the other side as well. Um, in shard dungeons, I think only one of them shows up. But whenever you get that debuff, you want to jump into one of those circles and that'll cleanse you. Charge triplicity here. <clears throat> Uh, what else? Uh, he's got another one. I forgot what it was called. Uh, oh no, that's Influence Fate, isn't it? I think it was Influence Fate. Anyway, there's one that he that you can interrupt and one that you can't interrupt. Um, we'll see it when we get there. But the one that you can interrupt, basically, he, he just hits harder. So, interrupt it if you can. Save your tank and your healer some trouble. Um, you can't... As long as you're not like on airship 9 or 10, no big deal. If you're on the 9 or 10, hopefully you've got a, a good tank that's geared up for it. <laughs> uh, he's also got a shotgun attack, usually aimed on somebody who he doesn't have aggro on. Uh, he shoots three orbs out that deal a significant amount of damage. Try not to get hit by that, because that sucks. And I think that's pretty much it. Other than that, it's just kind of a tank and spank kind of thing. So, yeah. Uh, we'll wait till we get to the boss, and then I'll be able to explain it as it happens. Yeah, there's Influence Fate, and there's Impending Doom. I want to say Impending Doom is the one where, like, we're going to die if we don't interrupt it. And we're just going to block my spells. Yeah, a lot of airship is just a waiting game. So it's a little frustrating. It's really hard to get a, a sub-15 time on an airship 10. Um... No, don't block my spells. That's right, it's a random dungeon queue. I'm not too worried about it. There we go. Should be a couple more groups uh, for boss. But we should be coming up on them soon, I think. Oh, nope, that's him right there. Alright, switching back to Scoundrel for this. Yeah, that's a good card. Oh, I missed. Let's try that again. There we go. Rank 5. And... Oh, so there's a shotgun. Like I said, he goes for somebody he doesn't have aggro on. Oh man, look at all those crits. I love it. Rank four. All right, get further back. There we go. Frost. Uh, that ice debuff. It's nice if somebody's got ice heart on them. Line attack. Like I said, it'll apply a bleed. So you just move. I think that was the interruptible one. Somebody got that interrupt. I'm going to chill out, see if we can get that uh, impending doom. There it is. All right. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there it is. You want to go into the green circle and debuff. And if you don't...
Oh, no, nobody's going to die? All right. Well, yeah, if you don't, before the boss dies, you die. <laughs> so that's airship. Uh, nice and simple. You don't have to go anywhere. Oh, yeah, he just took the hit. Um, nice and simple. You know, this is the entirety of the dungeon. You just sit there, you wait for the mobs, and those are the two bosses. So, that was simultaneously playing Scoundrel in a dungeon and showing off airship. Hope you guys enjoy. Take it easy and happy hunting.